all rules of congruence are in place. Good day, ladies, gentlemen, peacekeepers, constables, armed forces and masters. The following information will power people to stop and correct being bonded slaves globally, which will take place, which takes place in common law as opinions of jurisdiction. Is banning the Federal Postal Court is banning the use of common law. You will learn common law is no law for the governments and any people that are in a trust and duty position or any fiduciary position and to the peoples all over the world you are to share this public freedom information broadcast. For my students around the world make your own, make this your own by uploading it onto your YouTube channel or use your voices to voice over any or if your father tongues or be it in your father tongue you consider to be good. You sharing this will change your world. Yours for use to keep peace and pace with my position as a plenty potentiary judge, please turn to the common law page of Wikipedia and Barbary Pirates onto and from uh, the Dropbox as well as my website. The process of bondage. Slavery exists or lives in common law. Common law language is the language of kings and queens court. Whether they are in English or any other languages. In this country the language is called Queen's English. The general public are part are not part of the common language common law language and or a member of the Queen's Court or King's Court or for that matter any other court but are rather subjects subjects of the common law courts of kings and queens or to the Crown Corporation Subject as in subjugated. In another, another way of saying, you have no claim, no position, no standing, no language, no court of your own. When the general public hear the word commoner, in their innocence, with the tragedy of presumption and assumption, the general public believe it meaning common to themselves, it is not. It is not a common language to you, nor are the customs and excise of that court common to you. What, what is the saying of the presumption and assumption is the mother of all? And I will leave you to finish that sentence off in your own heads. The phrase commoners are the individuals within their own prospective courts, common to each other and not common to you. For in the case of Queen's English, or be it British English, it is the standard dialect of a English language as spoken and written in the United Kingdom, United Kingdom, a dialect called received punctuations, albeit received pronunciations, received pronunciations. Since you are not common to their courts with a common language, 
with the cipher for the dialect codes in received punctuation, received pronunciation. You are not on a par with them, but bound or disabled. Crippling people and disabling them is cruelty. It is a crime against humanity. For example, when you are called in, summonsed in, which means to give, uh, to summons the dead, as in Regina versus Tom Muse, you are entering into the Queen's court as a subject to be subjugated fleeced. In passé, subject means no contract claims. Take an other example. When the US Treasury, the US Treasury, and not the USA, a Treasury, summons you in, as in the US Treasury versus Jane Doe, the true meaning and true names are intentionally being concealed and concealment is foul play. For one, in many pieces of such evidence, in place are mortgages, which in passé means death pledge. This is proof of a bonded slave in place. For the origins of death pledges, i.e. mortgages, originated from feudal operating systems, now in your world calling itself mortgages. This process is overseen by a group of judges, themselves puny, the spelling also comes as P-U-I-S-N-E, judges, meaning small in stature. These puny judges are actors working for the feudal systems on a global scale. These bureaucracies, these bureaucracies, I beg your pardon, operate in common law. It tries to establish tradition known as judicial president or judge made law or case law. It is the body of president created by puny judges and similar quasi judicial tribunals. Tradition of other courtiers and not laws are not laws nor the rule of law. People coming together with open minds, open hearts and open hands, with one language, with one word, with one meaning, one meaning per sentence, on a geometric level playing field, or on a geometric field, known as the well of the court, is the start of laws. For those people coming together within the court systems, this is the start of laws. To the general public, I know it can be challenging for the general public to calibrate themselves onto this geometric level plane. Level plane. To aid you, make that mental orientation, or be it reorientation in conventional language. For this golden age, look up Barbary Pirates. Please do. If you need to stop this video when you're on a replay, please do, because you will get an eye-opener. Which also takes place in common law. Piracy, ladies and gentlemen, takes place in common law. And what are modern-day pirates? If you do a little search, you will get a lot of information. And I insist that some of you qualify all of these things for yourself by visiting those links 
in the description box. Debt collecting agencies exist in common law. Organ harvesting exists in common law. Luthanasia exists in common law. Deed of trust are in common law. Warranty deeds are in common law. Quiet titles are in common law. The land registries across the world are in common law until I took it over in quantum. Letters that have private and confidential are in common law. I.e., how many of you have seen this? They are in common law, private and confidential. Pirate in private are also in common law. If it is common to you, why try to contact you? Why try to contact with you with an offer of contract? If it is common to you and you have a contract with them. I hope I have made that very clear. If I need to clarify it, I'll, cl I'll read it out again. If these people writing to you in the private and confidential already have something in common with you, i.e. a contract, why are they trying to contract with you by contacting you and then offering a contract for you? It's an offer of contract. This also takes place in common law. Coming back to piracies or pirates, you remember that wonderful movie, one of my favourite movies with Spartacus in it. Remove the connotations, but rather what the man himself wishes to achieve. When he is in the tent and he is cornered and how he's found a way out by treating with privateers, pirate ships, to take him and all of his people across the ocean. And you remember that scene when that private operator, the emissary from the private organisation that he represents, comes in and says he can no longer do that for him and death, of course, is imminent. Well, that is a Barbary pirate. That is how old these people are and that is how they revenue themselves as in private pension funds private this, private that, which are all part of common law. Common law, ladies and gentlemen, has no public laws in it, i.e. banking, fiduciary care, and so on and so forth. Judges that wear the black robes are doing so to honour the dead. This is a time memorial method of showing respect to the dead. As in mourning the dead, mourning the dead, sorrow. For those that were, sorry, beg your pardon, for those that were misfortunate enough to go into these courts, they know that the outcome all too well, the wearing of wigs or sitting under a canopy or doing so, are doing so to hide their thoughts from the Creator. As if the Creator is blind, not able to see through the wigs and canopy, sick and tried. Go to my website and turn to the Committee of 300 and the Squamish document. You will need to have this at hand. which is essentially this. It details the buying and selling of souls baptised and lost at sea. The selling of souls, baptised souls lost at sea. Maritime, 
the selling of which also takes place in common law. The document that you see of the Committee of 300, which I have shared with you often, as I have pointed out time and time again, these are the bank accounts of the men and women that you worship as gods. We are all familiar with pseudo. Well, these are, really are, pseudos. I have provided you with factual evidence to show you the methods of operation that are within your sight and within your reach. The selling and trading of people as captured baptized souls, captured baptized souls by people doing business as, takes place in common law. Doing business as, DBA. The writing of living people, names in all capitalization, that is to capitalize your name, that method comes from also in common law. To make living human beings, men and women, as dead on paper, also carries penalties. The word penalty comes from the word to show penance. A slave is a slave in any period in time, any place on earth by any other name, like bonded slave or pinage, or as in the pinage act, the pinion act, if I'm pronouncing it correct, P-E-O-N-A-G-E. -E. The code you need is, and this is for the people that understand the ciphers, the code you need is a rose a rose by any other name is still a rose. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens and masters, slavery carried out in the public or in the private is slavery and is a capital punishment. The creators of slavery, death pledges, have witnessed their own death warrants, by their own method, by their own workings and by their own paper trail, they have witnessed their own death warrants. In a world where tolerance of such practices cannot and will not be tolerated, I am the older the holder of the St. George's Cross. With that comes a great deal of responsibility, of which I will speak later on. I have given you the citizens in uniform and the citizens out of uniform the power to stop and correct. The power that has been given to you is knowledge. And what is knowledge, ladies and gentlemen? Knowledge is power. You are now under the misprision rule of felony and misprision rule of treason. It is your calling and duty as educated citizens to move away from being shy of knowledge and start your journey has true citizens. With knowledge and responsibility comes, and not with great power comes responsibility. Nobody gets power without knowledge and responsibility. The word is, you become powerful when you take responsibility and put your knowledge at to work. That is the key. And it is now, in this here and now, for you to take up your responsibility and become powerful. 
When the unwitting citizens call for common law, they have just opened up the contract for a fiefton's right to keep and own bonded slaves, whether that is in the private or in the public, as in private lands or public lands. Furtherance. Bonded slaves are herited, generation after generation. What the Vatican calls or sells as the sins of the father will be visited on their sons. Sin is another word for debt. And debt was never yours. Three six six three. Three such examples. In, in, I beg your pardon. In England, there is the Magna Carta, which is in which is in common law until David Wayne Miller syntaxed it. In the U.S., you have the U.S. Constitution, and I don't mean the U.S. In the U.S.A. Constitution, and I don't mean the U.S. And in India is the Indian Constitution, all of which are owners of a small group calling themselves Founding Fathers, or Councils, or any other type of Councils that they are common to, sick and tried. Magna Carta, or Magna means great. Carta means paper chart. They have nothing on paper and they have nothing great. It is just an adjective on paper. The tragedy for the citizens and the wickedness of the money makers by way of the feudal systems. The monies you thought you got from the back of a loan, credit card or a mortgage was forged in fraud, as in the 2001 fraud as in the 2006 fraud. Look up financial or fractional banking to help you. And when I say look it up, I don't mean glance over it. Understand the consequences of fractional banking. The money you put into the banks in good faith, in good faith, ladies and gentlemen, was given, was you giving the banks unsecured credits and loans. On top of that, your money has become the legal property of the banks. That is why it is so difficult to people for getting closure from the banks, i.e. bailouts or bail-ins. To add further to their banking fraud, they took your money and fractionalized it. That, that money now becomes fiat currency, worthless promissory notes, which you now see is failing around you. The US, of course, is feeling it much more than, say, England or Britain or United Kingdom. The privileges that you thought you had was all on the back of fractionalized notes. Fractionalized is like me taking you uh, pieces by pieces and selling those parts on. A practice of organ harvesting, also found in common law. Then lending those monies, which they fractionalized, to you as now secured loans or mortgages on the back of your good faith. Essentially making you the lender and borrower of your own money, courtesy of David Wayne Miller. You see and hear ladies and gentlemen, exactly what values have they bonded you with. It was David Way Miller that exposed 
the banking fraud, how the system works. I've added a few more mechanisms. So I repeat myself. You see and hear me, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the world. Exactly with what values have they bonded you with? This is no longer a matter of bonded slaves. It is the stealing people. It is stealing people and forcing them to be slaves. It is rape, looting, pillage of lawful, peace-loving citizens and forcing them to be slaves in every country of the world. The feudals have self-witnessed for the second time their own death warrants. Yes, financially we are in the death throes of their fiat currency world which exists in the private, which is also a mechanism found in common law. But the death warrants, ladies and gentlemen, is you self-witnessing your own pledges, your own death pledges, and the fowls that you have brought onto the earth, into our world. Firstly, in contract law, you have an offer. I'll rephrase that again. Firstly, in contract law, you have an open offer in good faith. Secondly, you have a good faith acceptance or rejection, which would normally end the situation with a rejection. But of course, that is far from the truth. It is in an acceptance, then, thirdly, you have an exchange of value, an exchange of a value in good faith. And fourthly, you have all parties in performance what is commonly referred to offer, offer, acceptance, exchange of value, and then performance. The feudals have cheated the people into being bonded slaves with lies and false offers, and counterfeited money in the private and passing it on to the public citizens with the public laws as lawful tender. Liars lie because they know the truth. That is why they lie. For you to take responsibility and power, the first process is to take control of your paperwork. Since, it is, since the death pledge is on paper, take control of it. Since the sin is on paper, take control of it, what is known as your court of record. You will find a lot of information on that court of record and how to create one on my website. Make your claim of life. You need a claim of life. And make it your own. Understand why you are doing what you are doing. Have it witnessed in trust law, albeit in good faith. In good faith. This means three people coming together on paper to witness each other. Witness really means witness, just as if you have witnessed a birth or a crime. To witness something you did not see or hear is a lie, and a lie therefore is perjury. Religion is in common law whether that is in the Western or Eastern countries. Let us parse a syntax, the word religion. Religion means no people. RE means no, as in receding airline. And legion means people, as in Julia Caesar's legion. Once again, courtesy of David Wayne Miller, the founder of the Standard of language. These slavery slave traders have conducted themselves true to their words, having no faith. That is why they practice religion. Religion meaning no people.
no faith. People trafficking takes place in common law. Human trafficking means trafficking of shades of people, different races, different creeds, different languages. If you want to know more, look up the meaning of chief commoner. It won't take you very long to figure it out. And thief taker, which also exists in common law, private. The Federal Postal Court, the Federal Postal Court is banning the use of tribute, better known as blackmail. Blackmail is blackmail, as in chain mail. Blackmail, ladies and gentlemen, is blackmail as in chain mail. Is safeguarded by the holder of the St. George's Cross and by the Federal Postal Court, the standards of which are mathematically certified. David Wayne Miller. It is my command and the command of the other members of the Federal Postal Court and the citizens of this world, this earth, this planet, this plane, the peoples are free of bondage. Thank you very much for listening to me, ladies and gentlemen. Take that power in your hands and make good use of it. Until next time, thank you very much.